A new push tonight to begin construction of the Purple Line in Maryland. The light rail project would run from Bethesda to New Carrollton. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan is expected to make his decision on the project's future in about a month. Seven on your side's Chris Pabst explains why business leaders say billions of dollars are at stake. Probably the worst business dilemma a small business person could be put into. Deborah Hyman's small business has thrived in this Silver Spring shopping complex for 22 years. But for the past few years, she's been in limbo. She wants to expand but can't. The proposed 16-mile-long purple line would run right through her storefront, affecting her and 600 other properties. We would like to potentially sell our business. No one in their right mind is going to buy a business that may not be a business. From a larger perspective of our community, of the citizens, the one and a half, two million people who live in this region, there's a larger good. And that larger good, according to Prince George's County Economic Advisor David Iannucci, can be found in this new study by a Frederick-based transportation company. It estimates the Purple Line will bring 25,000 new jobs, increase household incomes by $2.2 billion, and increase property values by an estimated 12.8. Eight billion. The overall communities of Montgomery County, Prince George County, and the state of Maryland will be far, far better off having this wonderful transit opportunity. We'll deal with the individual businesses, many of whom will be better off in a new location. So if the Purple Line is so beneficial, why hasn't it been built? Well, it all has to deal with the price. Right now, construction would cost $2.4 billion and then another $55 million every year to operate it. And that has Governor Hogan concerned. In Silver Spring, Chris Pabst, ABC 7 News.